Today we're going to have a look at fitting some side steps on this Freelander 2. In some markets it will be called the LR2. So, right, let's have a look. Right then, so this is, as you open them up, do you want to open the box up, Kate? I've got Kate helping me today. Right, so this is what you get in the box. So these are what we would call the factory style ones. So you, you particularly got this sort of swooshy pattern. And you also got this join here on the factory style ones. And then on the edge you've got the... Do you want to just lift that out a little bit, Kate? So you've got the... They come with this protective plastic film. Which you can remove at the end of fitting. But I'll just show you what the steps are like. So you'll see they've got this aluminium tread round the out, sort of strip round the outside and you've got this tough sort of rubberized ABS plastic top finisher step. So we'll show you how to do that. So if you just lift the step out, Kate. Okay. So the steps have basically got these little outriggers. So the steps come all pre-assembled with the outriggers on. So once you've got the receptacles for the outriggers on the car, the steps just slip on. So that's that's the last thing we'll do. Okay, let's lift this one out over the top as well. Okay, so then what you've got is you've got the bracket tree. Now, you've got two parts of the bracket. You've got this sort of hanging section here. Now, these are all numbered. So you'll notice here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Hopefully you can. You've got number four. So you should have numbers one to six. Okay. Now they're different. Now the other bits, I can rest all these out here. So these other these other parts are all the same. Okay, so these bits that we've got here, black in your kit, they may be different. Obviously we've got these for sale on our website, powerfuluk.com. But um, yeah, so these are, so we'll, we'll go through that now. So you've got your, basically you've got your six of these, you've got those, and then at the end there, do you want to open up that cape? And we'll have a look at the sort of fitting kit. So, and there's the fitting kit, and we'll go through where you use these. Now, one key thing to note, first of all, is that for this kit, it does use rib nuts, okay? So, Land Rover haven't pre-installed captive nuts where you need to fit the brackets. Um, so, you have to fit six of these rib, rib nuts. They're called nut certs, rivet nuts, and you do need a tool for those. Now, that takes us nicely on to the tools you'll need. So we've we've got what we hope is most of the tools we'll need for doing this. So we've got a socket set, we've got a torch just to help us look underneath. We've got a drill with a 12 millimeter diameter drill in. Um, we do have to cut the plastic sill steps, so we've got a, a standing knife here to do that. We've got this special tool here, we've got these on our website. So this is the, um, and we may include these with the kit when we sell them. Um, so that you've got everything you need, but this is a little sort of sort of snake tongue tool for getting the the plastic um, clips out that hold the the seals on. And this is our very simple riv nut tool that we've developed, and we'll show you using that. And again, I think we may well include these in the kit, so you've got everything you need other than the the basic tools, because most workshops don't necessarily have this as standard a riv nut tool. And then we've got a small crosshead screwdriver. So the first thing to do, I'll pass the camera over to Kate now, is we've got to get underneath, okay, so we've got a torch here, and what we've got to do is we've got to remove the clips that hold the, let me put that down, the clips that hold the seals on. So we've got to remove the seals. If you have a look underneath, if I get under, you can pass the camera to me. Okay, so if we look underneath here, Okay, so you've got up in here, you can see this sort of crosshead section. Now sometimes you can be lucky and you can spin out, you can spin out the, the crosshead, turn the crosshead and the middle will turn out, but invariably you won't be that lucky. So this is where you need to use the sort of, the forked tool. And if you get behind the sort of larger washer section there, okay, and then le wriggle and lever, Okay, you should better pop that out. There you go, you can see them coming now. Okay, oh, there he goes. Right, okay, and then you can see there, that's the sort of plastic clip there. And it's got this insert. Okay, so we've can... got the six clips out from the bottom of this plastic seal panel. And now we should just better pull it out. So we're going to just try pulling this top. So if we start at the back, so this is the back wheel arch, as you can see here. You've got a nice little grip that you can get on and you can 
start to pop it away. Okay. So we work away there, and then if you want to come round the other side, we'll continue working along in the same direction. Okay, so that's it there. Okay. Pop it along. Okay. Okay, and then the back's fallen away. All right, and then on the front, you've got this little, let me show you here. Okay, what we've got here is this little section. Obviously, you've got a whole chunk of mud, but you've got this little tongue section here, okay? And that pokes forward into there's like a little docking station right in this front corner plastic. So once you pull the pull them away first, then drop it down at the back, and then you need to slide it backwards in this direction. Okay, and if you want to step back, Kate, and just show them what we've got there. Okay, so that's the sill removed. Okay, so we've cleaned the sill, so you can see this is the sill. And we've marked, yeah, there's three slots we've now got to cut. Now we've marked two of the slots at that end in orange, just so you can get the idea. We've marked half this slot here. Now if you look, I've got the torch in, hopefully Kate can catch this on the camera. You can see here where there's a cross mark, which is where you drill, and this outline is moulded in the plastic. So that's there on all three slots. Okay, so basically we now need to, to drill. So what it suggests you do in the instructions from Land Rover is you, you put your drill on the centre cross here, and drill out both ends, and then cut between them, okay? So let's have a go at doing that. I'll keep the torch there, put it on the middle, okay, and we've got a bit of wood underneath, so as we, okay, so as you can see the plastic's pretty good, but yeah, I recommend putting a bit of wood underneath, okay, so we'll just zip, we'll, we'll do, so let me do these two, so at least you can see these, these two, again, if you press down with the drill, like so so there's there's the two holes we've got there and now what we've got to do is cut between these two with a standing knife what I'll do is I'll just finish drilling the holes these next two holes at the end of each of these slots and then I'll come back and join you and we'll we'll have a go at cutting through the between the, the okay holes. so we've got the two holes cut we've done it all the way along the length now and now we just need to, to basically score through with a sharp knife the two lines on here marked by Land Rover so don't try and do it all in one go take a couple of goes at it okay we've just put a new blade on this knife and there, might, there may be machines you can use to do this but it, it's really not that hard I think five or six five or six that's it, you can hear it now cutting into the wood again. We've got a bit of, a bit of wood underneath, okay? So that's the first side cut, okay? And then obviously the first one, if you do it slowly, to get the line. And then you can... If you want, you can you can just clean up the the edges a bit with a, a knife, okay? like so. Okay, and that's that's what you do now. Obviously, that then gives you the slot on the underside of the sill um, where the brackets go through. So I'll go and do the next two of these slots, and then we'll come back and do the next. Okay. Thing. So you can see we've cut the three slots now, and now the next thing is to insert the rib nuts. So this is basically the rib nut here. You'll notice it's a way of forming a captive nut. Um, so you've got a threaded section and then a non-threaded section. And what we need to do is push these up under. The okay, so this is the rib nut tool we've got. And what you've got to do is you've got to take your, uh, the rib nut tool comes with a, a bolt there, is spin the rib nut up onto the bolt like that. So it's just biting. And then we're ready to insert it. So we've got here a little socket driver with a 10 millimeter 
socket on and we'll go and do this underneath. So, now we're under the car. So it's not the holes that you see here next to the rubber grommets. It's the ones over the back towards the centre of the car. And you'll see there are just three of them, okay? So you can see this is, this is the back wheel. So you've got one here. Okay, moving forwards, another one. Okay, and then towards the front you've got another one there. Now, what you need to do is, okay, right, let me see how we can do, is you've got to insert the riv nut with the riv nut tool, like so. Right, Kate, can you hold the camera there? Mm -hmm. Right, that's it, if you keep it there, right, I'll tell you if you go out of line. Right, okay, let me grab that little hammer. I'll do my little hammer. <laughs> Right then, okay, so if you push the, the rib nut, that's it, okay, in, in like so, okay, now you might need to push those in, this has slipped in quite easily, and then put the, the socket on, okay, now, if you pull, keep the rib nut tool still, and wind the socket, now what that's doing is deforming the rib nut inside the cavity to form a captive nut. Okay. Right. Now you'll feel it go, it goes easy and then it starts to get hard again, okay? And when it gets hard again, you know it, it's wound up fully, okay? And now what you need to do is just remove the bolt, okay? And what you should find is, I just adjust, oh, no, you hold it there, sorry. Right, now this might be sideways when you're viewing it on. At home on YouTube, sorry about that. Okay. Oh, okay, and that's there now. If I grab the camera, okay, so right, so there you see now we've got a captive nut. So that's all in there and sealed, ready to accept the brackets. So there's three of those to do. So I'll do the other two now and then I'll come back and we'll do the next step.